something in me that feels so incredibly uncomfortable to tell a person you're not going to get better you need to just accept this and this, this is how it's going to be something yeah. feels so sadistic about that I actually do have a very Pollyanna, maybe optimistic view, but the thing is it's fundamentally based on the fact that I actually teach my clients in our program, how to actually talk to their doctors to invite collaboration. And so the conversations, honestly, there's a lot of nuances to it, but the vast majority of responses from people as they graduate our program and they're talking with their doctors is a positive one, meaning their doctors are like, yeah, I've heard about that. Oh, I'm so glad you're on that. Or yes, I'm willing to order the labs for you. I'm getting that more and more because I think I'm teaching these people how to speak and advocate for themselves. It is evidence driven. Most importantly, results speak louder than anything. If they go into the doctor's office and they go, here are my thyroid labs. Here's my hair loss. Here's my goiter. Do you see all this smaller and all this stuff? I just lost 30 pounds. Will you work with me to keep this going? This is what I did to do with it. The results is actually what is speaking to our colleagues and our colleagues cannot deny this patient they've known for 10 years with a very different outcome, right? The good ones anyway. So I'm finding that the vast majority of our colleagues are responding to my patient's results and their invitations for collaboration. Yeah, I think that's going to be, I think testimony is going to be the, the greatest evidence. Yeah. Because as people, one of our most primitive uh, defenses is what we see. We can read something, but if we don't see it, it doesn't really become real. And so I think the live testimony of people is the most crucial element uh, to telling the story of healing. And I think if we talk about it like we are right now, it's not the same as somebody seeing it in the flesh. And I think the more and more um, that that gets out there, um, that will be the more telling aspect of it. And hopefully the debate and things will die down. I think for me, you know, this journey has been helpful and transformative in growing in my own spiritual journey. You know, mm. I'm, I'm Christian and I've always heard about healing in my family, in the church, but I had never seen healing before. And so this in some ways was challenging my faith about what God was and Christianity and things. And, and I can see how some people come to all kinds of theologies when we don't really have an adequate sense of healing in our culture. And yeah. so for me to be able to see people improve and heal now has been very transformative. And it makes me in some ways question, um, you know, how did the medical system become so sadistic in a lot of ways? And, you know, many of us come into this field all, you know, bright eyed and red faced and blushing about getting into this field and helping and things. And over time, the field in some ways uh, morphs up in such a way to become callous and hard and so this in some way. And I just feel that it's something in me that feels so incredibly uncomfortable to tell a person, you're not gonna get better, you need to just accept this and this, this is how it's gonna be. It's something yeah. feels so sadistic about that. And I think that I do have compassion on physicians because I was once there doing that. Me too. And I think that we all in some ways bought into our leaders out of loyalty. Um, the, the culture of medicine is in some ways a culture and so all cultures have rules that you have to follow and you don't know a lot as a student to question and go against the grain and you're tested on what your leaders say is the right answer and so you have to kind of go along with that and i think in some ways when people kind of feel more confident to be able to do the work of looking at what has happened and how they participate in it and not feel so much ego bruising um that yeah. they will maybe wrong and embarrassed about that i think you know it's a great opportunity moving forward what I see is when my patients are in front of me, they're saying, my doctor is wrong. Yeah. I feel like there are natural ways that I can do this. I feel like the drugs aren't the only option. Right. How could that be the only option? How could that be the only option? Does that make sense? Can I chime in along these lines? Okay, so what they tell in Western medicine these days is, we call it CAM, complementary and alternative medicine. I will tell you, my humble belief is that pharmaceutical medicine is alternative medicine because what you're yeah. saying, Dr. Senya, they've been using acupuncture for thousands of years. We've been using roots and herbs and food for thousands and thousands of years. And pharmaceuticals, when did when was penicillin invented? 1940 was the, was the first yeah. patient used penicillin. Not 80 years ago. It hasn't even been that long. So I'm a Chinese herbalist. And so the traditions and the knowledge of herbalism has been passed down. I mean, one of the one of the books that we use is from 200 BC. 
30% <laughs> of the herbal formulas that I use that are on my shelf in my clinic are from that book from 200 BC. We still I use that. that. I actually want to remind everybody here, interestingly, is that I have actually great hope for the medical profession. And the reason is all the medical profession that's around me today, uh, these are all doctors who practice in a conventional way in their field before actually getting this education, paying on their own dime with their own time to actually do this against the grain. So I think there's great hope in the profession, but I really wanted to shed light and actually have the public see what it's really like behind the scenes of why we chose to be in this profession, what we forecast as coming out. But also I want access. I think all of them out there should have access to this information. Right. If you think that you have something that could benefit from a functional medicine approach, type it in chat right now. I would love to hear uh, what that is. You could get some feedback. We have thousands of resources, interviews, trainings, case studies to be able to share with you. I want this information accessible for everybody, but we're not going to be able to get it to you if you don't raise your hand. So go ahead in the comment section, raise your hand, tell us more about you, and we'd love to get to know you more.